All right, so the unelected fourth branch of government is now being aided and abetted by the destroyed Trump media, all in a massive effort to damage and destroy President Trump. Now, this week alone, we have seen unprecedented and potentially criminal leaks from the deep state to the liberal Washington Post. Now, the liberal smear machine is masquerading as a news outlet in their reporting, citing, of course, once again, anonymous sources that the special counsel is now investigating the president for possible obstruction of justice and that Robert Mueller is also looking into Jared Kushner's finances and business dealings. Okay, how is it possible that they dare to leak information almost every single day without any fear of consequences? And by the way, they're wrong so often. President Trump responding to that report today, tweeting, quote, I am being investigated for firing the FBI director by the man who told me to fire the FBI director. That's a witch hunt. Now, the president, of course, is referring to the uh, deputy attorney general, Rosenstein, who in a two page memo laid out the strongest case on why Comey needed to be fired. Now, Rosenstein, now he wants an investigation by the special counsel to investigate why the president fired Comey and whether or not this was the right thing to do. This is insanity. And by the way, the special counsel now has 13 attorneys, and on top of that, including Hillary Clinton's attorney and multiple attorneys that donated to both Obama and Hillary Clinton. Now, predictably, the destroyed Trump media, they're jumping all over this. They are, of course, hoping that it will lead to President Trump's downfall. Let me remind you, the Washington Post, ABC News, the New York Times, CNN, NBC, they have all gotten it wrong on this issue. They all at this point with the American public should have zero credibility. So we have to take these latest so-called smoking gun reports come out late night every night with a grain of salt. Last night, the Deputy Attorney General, Rod Rosenstein, he issued this statement about trusting these stories about the quote coming out of the fake news media. He said this, he said, Americans should exercise caution before accepting as true any stories attributed to quote anonymous officials, particularly when they do not identify the country, let alone the branch or the agency of government with which with the alleged sources supposedly are affiliated. Americans should be skeptical about anonymous allegations. Now, the Department of Justice has a long-established policy to neither confirm nor deny such allegations. You know what? I don't trust any of them at this point.